In this tutorial, we will learn how to create a data comparison video automatically from a simple Excel file. For example, this video is itself created using the automation tool. It is forever going to change everything because now you can create hundreds of such videos in a week since no manual work is needed. All you have to do is filling in your data in an Excel file and our Blender script will take care of everything else. So we'll start with this default scene in Blender and we need to first delete this cube. And then, we have to open a text editor from here. Now click on the new button, and this is the place where we can paste some code. This script is given below in the video description, it will install these two modules into Blender directory, and we can run this script from here. It can take a minute for the execution to complete, and please remember that you'll need to run it only once, after you install Blender. Once the script is executed, we should check the status of its completion, from this system console. It must show a successful completion message for both of the modules like this. And it must be installed inside the Blender directory for whichever Blender version you might have installed on your machine. An incorrect execution of this step will create issues when we run our second script. The possible errors are discussed in the video description below. Now let's remove this first script and we'll paste here the second script which will create the actual video from our Excel file. This script is also given below but you have to make few changes here. The location of the Excel file where you have entered your data must be mentioned here within quotes. So this is how our sample Excel file looks like where we have the names of some large companies in column two and their current market capital is here in an ascending order. Then in this display column, we have added a dollar symbol and a symbol for billions, which will be shown in the video along with the name of each company while the calculations will be done based on this numeric column. Finally in column 5, we have added the link or the path to some pictures, which will be displayed along with the names of these companies. So in our folder, the Excel file is kept here, and there is a subfolder called pictures. Within this folder, we have kept the logo files for each of the companies. You can also use some flags or even some small video clips in place of these pictures. And now we'll use this Excel file to create our data comparison video. So in our script, we have mentioned the name column is 2, then the data column is 3, display data is column 4, and the display picture should be 5. And most importantly, you can customize the speed of the animation by changing the speed factor between 1 and 10. Then there are some more fields below, you can change these fields to customize the look and feel of the video according to your taste, but otherwise you don't need to change them. We can now run it from here, just like the first script, and you'll see that several objects are created by the script. Let's go back to the 3D viewport, then enable the rendered view mode, and let's also go to the camera view. If we run the animation, we'll see that the data comparison video is perfectly created, even the camera movement is automatically done, you don't need to do anything. But to make it look better, you can add a suitable material for this floor, and you should also add a background. In the second part of this series, we have discussed how to add a background and how to add HDRI lighting, the tutorial link is given below in the video description. But if you are a member of this channel, you can simply use this third script which is available for our members. This script will automatically add a floor and a nice background, along with suitable lighting for your video. Once we execute it, we'll get a result like this, which looks far better, and it's done on a single click. You can now render this composition, and you're ready to upload this video on your own channel. It makes your job super easy, but we have also received some queries on how to set up the camera or how to control the camera movement for such videos. So let's check out how it is done by our script. The most important thing would be the length of your composition. You should increase this end frame number based on the number of data columns present in your scene. And we can see that the script has added several keyframes for our camera. The camera movement is controlled by these keyframes, and it slows down in front of each of the bars so that the viewer can easily read the captions. But it does not stop completely. We can actually see the camera path as well. You need to keyframe your camera like this, along with the target empty. They should cover this distance quickly, and then slow down right here. But thankfully, all these things are automatically taken care of. If you use our script, no manual effort is needed at all. And this script is free for everyone, so that you can easily create more contents and grow your channel. So I hope you like this tutorial, and you can also watch the earlier two parts of this series on how to create world data comparison videos. To join our channel and access more perks, 
you can click on the join button below. That's all for today, and thanks to everyone for watching.